page. All up in there. Look at that. Look, he's got a big old leech. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. I am out with the two stinky boys and we are gonna spend a night out here in the hot tent. Well, one night with just me and the boys here. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit of a unique video for a multiple reasons. First and foremost, I am car camping. Straight up car camping. Oh yeah. Uh, the car is 20 feet that way and uh, we're gonna set up right here. Now another reason this is unique is because I'm gonna kind of keep my voice down. What I'm doing right now is setting up for this year's deer camp for me and Funk. Um, we're coming back out, um, so I'm setting it up today, and then we're coming out the next day. Um, we gotta get all our stuff ready and doing this year's deer camp. Um, so I'm just getting things kind of set up, making sure the hot tent still works, you know, stuff like that. But I'm keeping my voice down just because I don't wanna, you know, don't want to get crazy and spook anything so these guys are not going to go crazy barking and playing like crazy hopefully um, they'll be nice and calm and yeah we're still going to cook up some delicious food over our campfire maybe do some other fun things we're still going to have a great time but uh, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to set up the hot tent right here so I'm just going to kind of flatten out any of these ferns or briar thorns kind of getting in the way pretty good but I just gotta grab some stuff um, you should have seen how I packed today it was uh, well it wasn't pretty by any means I uh, instead of you know stuffing everything into their stuff sacks I kind of just crammed it into my car did it in about 20 minutes flat so hopefully I brought everything hopefully so let's let's grab the let's grab the stuff boys They're so confused. They're just like, where are we going? I'll probably take them on a walk down the road later. I ain't taking them that way where Monty's going. He ain't gonna go too far. He's gonna be like, they're not coming. And he's gonna come running back and wonder what we're doing. But another thing I wanted to talk about is yesterday, um, I was planning on camping yesterday and testing out the hot tent. And it was kind of like rain all day, light rain which I've been looking forward to camping in, but today it was supposed to snow and tonight it's supposed to snow. Um, the road, the drive here, it was snowing like crazy and the roads were just bad. Well, the roads are getting a little nasty. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> oh man. Let's see if we can zoom in. A little. It's, it's really big fat snowflakes. Uh, yeah. But as soon as I got 30 miles away from this spot, it just stopped. Dry roads, nothing. There's little bits of snow that's melted um, because we had some last night. But uh, yeah, it must be like the elevation where I was going through or coming from, something. But hopefully we'll get some snow tonight because I really wanted to camp in the snow. But I also wanted to do the rain, but I was just like, you know what? If I just come out and set up camp, it'll make life easier all around. And there's a chance of snow, here we are. Okay, so uh, another thing we're going to try today is normally I'll get sticks to set up the tent on the outside, but I bought these a while back, near when I got the 10x10 for the first time. They're these cast iron stakes and they got little loops for tying to. I've never used them because I normally don't car camp, I normally am dragging my stuff out, and they weigh a lot, so I've never brought them out, but we're going to try it today, see how they work. Um, we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna, um, you know, normally I have the ropes out like this, but we're just gonna stick them to the ground, see how it works out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're gonna, tonight, we're at least gonna just roll with it. See how, see how well they do. They should work pretty good. But I've no, I, yeah, I normally stick it out. 
The hot tent, boys. Ye old hot tent. So I'll put the dinner here. Oh, and also, if you're wondering, this is not a road. Um, there's a big berm here, so you can't take motorized vehicles down here. So don't worry. Also, the current temperatures right now are about 32 Fahrenheit or 0 Celsius. So it's chilly, but I'm just, I'm moving around. So. And of course, we did get a late start today as well. So, there's always that. I got these others. These are just to stake out the tent. These are different stakes. I don't know what they are. I don't know where I got them. Somewhere. Watch Okay, now that it's staked out, and we're gonna hope Monty doesn't decide to lay on here, we're gonna give them a little special something something. Okay, boys. Monty. Monty, want a treat? Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Full speed, Monty. What we've got here is some raw, Venison bones for the boys. Here you go, Monty. Here you go, Rooks. Go ahead. Good boys. Go ahead. Take your treat. Yeah, so remind them. You know, we're doing this deer camp. Half of it's for me and Funk. The other half is for the boys. They get ground venison for a year straight. And bones. We've still got bones. So, yeah. Good boys. Go ahead. Munch on your treats. All right, now let's try out these new stakes. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, so what I'm seeing is for the corners, it's not gonna be as ideal. I'm just, unless I go Still not as ideal. I'm gonna tie this one to this. Well, this is gonna be. Hmm. Okay, so for the four corners, it's uh, you gotta have it kind of up if you want it to pull these corners all the way out because unless you go really far away, but we gotta kind of walk here and I don't wanna block off the path. Uh, then you can, you know, these gotta kind of be elevated. So 
I might need a stick here. Yeah, we're going to have to get one stick for this corner. So I'm going to go find a nice... The rest of these, are, there's hills around. Yeah, so the sun is setting. Um, it's 4 p.m. And the sun is setting. <laughs> it's early. So I guess I did get like a late start on the daytime, but like, this is fall. This is fall getting into December, you know. This is, the days get real short. So I'm gonna go quickly find a steak or two and bring them back here quick because I don't really want to set up in the, in the nighttime. And then we'll we'll just we're gonna have to stake this corner out. That one I can make a rope and tie to a tree because it's not blocking. But that one, that one you can step over. It's orange, so hopefully I don't trip on it. He will. Ruger will. And Ruger has pretty much eaten that entire bone already. Monty doesn't really crunch the bones up and eat them. He'll uh, eat all the goodies off of it. But Ruger, here's what he's got left. This from that bone, just this little piece. He wants it back. All right, I'm gonna get to those steaks quick. You boys wanna help me find some steaks? Where you wanna get a stick? He's, he's torn. He hasn't even given it a second thought. You guys are fine. Just, just enjoy your, enjoy yourselves, okay? Ruger heard stick breaking and had to come check it out. This one's a little curvy. There's not a good selection really close by. Let's see, do we want? Let's just see how this works with this curvy one. Listen to this guy. Mm. I like that one. We're going to have to replace that. So this guy over here, a car went by and he kept his bone in his mouth, continuing to chew and alert barking. Just, oh, there's something over there. Oh, I'm going to still eat this, but huh? Ridiculous. Okay, everything is good except for this corner. Once this corner gets pulled out, it's a good setup. You know, normally I do all the stakes out like this, but these middle ones can actually go straight down. It's really not that big of a deal. And if, if I can't find the perfect stick, which I will, I'm gonna go search for a minute, I can always stake this to the ground and put a stick under it and it'll pull it up. And that's what I'll do 
I'll just take this stick and kind of wedge it under here and stake it straight to the ground. It's just, if you don't stick it in there right, it's gonna be a little wobbly. So, yeah, I'm gonna go search for a stick quick. Finish this up here. This one should do pretty good, I hope. Perfect. We are all staked out. Ready to install the stove. And if you're wondering about firewood and collecting it, um, believe it or not, but I've had a pile of firewood in my truck for at least a year. Now, it was originally for, I think, deer camp last year. Um, and then I justified leaving it in there like in the winter if I was in an emergency, you know, I got my truck stuck. I'd have firewood and I could start a fire no problem in any scenario. I'd have dry firewood. That's how I justified it. It's just sat back there and got coated in dust and it's probably super dry, but we're going to burn it and see what happens. Oh, it's a, it's roomy in here. Oh. I see like five spiders. Oh my gosh. Six? There's like six or seven spiders just dangling from the ceiling in here. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. Another quick mention I just want to make is I was sent two new stoves by subscribers and I just want to say thank you again for sending those. I'm not trying those out today because both of those are bigger and it's not going to get very cold. And uh, if you have, you know, too much fire going in a hot tent, it can just get unbearably hot. So for this trip, uh, we're just going to use the old fashioned one because we're probably not even going to keep it burning very long. But uh, I'll try out those other ones when it gets really cold. I'm excited to try them still, but uh, not this trip. Not this trip. Okay, now Gotta get that pile of firewood out of the back of my truck. Where's Monty? Where's your bone? Get it, Monty. Oh no. Oh no. River has eaten both bones. I look away for five minutes. Of the two bones, this is all that's left is this little clean piece. <sighs> Ruger's gonna get less of the venison and sweet potatoes tonight. Because you already ate two bones almost. Yeah, I know you did. I know and I know you want this. Don't you? Yeah, no. You're gonna get, he's probably already gonna get diarrhea. Dang it. Okay, that'll do. Come on, dude. Back here, Rugus. Bring your roots. Bring it here. Oh, thief. Steal my firewood. Oh. 
Okay, that's plenty of firewood for the evening. I'll need more for the rest of it though. Okay, okay. I don't got any birch bark, but I got these ferns. They're kind of wet, but we'll just see. And I don't have any, there's no dry twigs. That's gonna work. Hmm. Let's just see if we can just light a piece of wood. Ruger. No. We're gonna need to make some feather sticks. All right, we're going to make feather sticks. Monty, no. Stop it, Monty. Oh, jeez. Oh, there goes all my shavings. <laughs> Stop eating crap. Now where the heck did I put the lighter? <sighs> grumble, grumble, Rugs. I, I know, I know, I, I see you. <laughs> I see you, cutie pants. It was in my pocket the whole time. There's hope. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Wait. Wait, I hope this stays lit. No, it's not looking good. That is the weirdest looking flame. It doesn't even look like fire. And it's out. Okay, we need to make more fire sticks. This is this is a, this is just downright embarrassing. Attempt 247. Will it work this time? That's a good sign. All right, I think it's gonna work that time. Man, I'm just getting too used to uh, that birch bark. Getting soft and with feather sticks and other ways starting fires. We're gonna have to just start going back to practice in other ways, I think. Sheesh. Don't do it. Mm. 
dang it. Just dang it. I've had it. I've had it. Sure, I can go camping in the rain, the winter, snowstorm, rainstorm, start a fire anytime. But the moment I go car camping, I can't start a fire for the life of me. I mean, what the heck is going on? Now I'm resorting to cardboard and, and, and dried bark from inside my truck? What's happened to me? I think everything's just falling apart. Attempt 492. I want to pet you, but I also want to start the fire. Just simmer down. Simmer down, Bruce. Get back. Oh my gosh, no. Ruger, no, get back. Ruger, stop. Ruger, the fire went out again. Dang. <laughs> Temp 601. seen this before. Rogus, hey! Please don't pull apart the tent. Not now. Not now, Rogus. Please. Please. I'm not even going to say anything. Oh, well, that's not good. That's good. Fool me once. See? Starting fires is easy. Yeah, we're gonna post the whole dang thing. The whole debacle. Because do I do I hide when I make mistakes? No. I make fun of myself. I think it's better that way. Alright. Okay, there we go. We did it, boys. We made fire. Ruger? Why is this piece of firewood outside of the tent? Hmm? Hmm? Did you have something to do with it? Did you do this? Yeah, I know you did. Monty would never. <sighs> How many other pieces have you stolen, Rugs? Lay there for now, but I gotta make it come. Okay. Oh. oh, this is, this is not. Hi, Rugus. Hi, Rugus. Monty. Stinky doggies. Okay. Rugus, don't touch that firewood. All right. We're chilling now. Uh, I got some stuff to set up. We're gonna, I'm gonna blow up the sleeping pads here for the boys. So it's gonna take me a few minutes. We're gonna get them a nice comfy spot where they can actually just lay and enjoy themselves. 
uh, yeah. I can't believe how much I struggled to start that fire. But, yeah, we got... We're going to at least... I'm going to take my time here. I'm just going to kind of set up, blow up the sleeping pads, get them comfy. We'll check back in with you when I get a little bit more stuff set up because I've got a couple hours to burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time setting up. I might, you know, read a little bit. I might just chillax. Monty's accepted defeat. And Ruger has brought me my firewood. Burgess? No, leave it. Please, please leave it. I know there's already at least another piece out there somewhere. And there's probably going to be more if I leave this door open. Which I'm going to because it's, you know, it's about 25 Fahrenheit, maybe negative like 3 Celsius, something in there. So it's nothing crazy. But anyways, yeah, we're going to set up, take my time, burn a couple hours. Because that's what you do. At this time of year when it gets dark so early you just kind of kill a couple hours just relax and but the set the setup's nice feels good to be back in the hot tent okay monty let's set up you need more comfiness right yeah this is, yeah this is i don't know about this this is not ever gets jealous huh jealous dog why do you get so jealous, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you want all the attention, huh? You want to steal the show? Oh, 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 Don't step on my teeth. I know you want the comfy spot. I know I know what you guys like, okay? You just gotta make it extra comfy, okay? Okay, boys. Come on, T. Go ahead. Go ahead, little creatures. Monty. Stop it, Monty. Except the spot the way it is. Stop it. It's, it's comfiness, Monty. Monty, stop it. Over you're fine. Everyone's fine. Monty is just being unreasonable. Monty. Come on, Stop scraping it up. Sure, face whatever way you want. Okay. The boys are comfy. Okay. Step one complete, or step three complete. Step five, six, seven, eight, whatever. Okay, we've been chilling for, uh, I'd say an hour and a half. We've been chilling, relaxing. Uh, you know, I got their sleeping pads set up. I'm not going to set up any of my sleep stuff, because, you know, we're car camping. I brought out the cot. It's going to take up some room here. So uh, we're not going to set that up for now. But yeah, we're nice and toasty. But I'm getting pretty hungry. Very hungry. Um, it's time to make some food. And it's going to take a little while. What are you doing? Oh. I brought myself out one of my favorite beverages. An ice cold LaCroix carbonated water, compliments of the car camping. Ah. Rugus, come over here. Come here. Rugus, over here. Come here. Come here, you little creature. Come on. Over here. Oh, lay down right here. Lay down. That's better. I don't know what you're doing over there. Anyways, we're going to make up a meal tonight. Um, it's not some recipe I have. 
it's uh, something I was just like, you know, I want to make this. And we're going to basically wing it. I'm going to just make something up that I've just thought about, envisioned it. And I was like, you know, that sounds kind of like it'd be delicious. So the name of this meal is going to be Poses Creamy Balls. So, let's make it a meatball. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is cut up some garlic. I'm going to crush the garlic. Makes it easier to peel. Okay. We've got our garlic. We're just going to chop it up, but we're going to kind of mince it pretty good here. Um, we're not going to use all this garlic in the meatballs. We're going to use half of it. Okay. I'm going to take a good chunk of this. All right, that's good. The rest we're going to put off to the side here. All right, to that we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. I'll go a little bit more. Do my best to not make a mess. Then we're going to add some basil. Then we're going to add some oregano. Some black pepper. And then some salt. Not too much salt. Not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. A little bit more. Just, yeah, that's good. That's good. We're going to add some breadcrumbs. Uh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, all right, perfect. Respectable. Respectable. All right, we got to add an egg. And the last thing we got to add is a pound of very lean beef. Okay. Now we're going to mix this all up very well with our hands. and do our best to not make a mess. I'm gonna to try to, for now, just use one hand for mixing, but I'm gonna definitely need both hands for rolling the balls here. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and mixed good because uh, if you don't, you're gonna have like pockets of spice or, you know, it just won't be even. And you have some that are just like two flavored, some that are unflavored. I just want them to all be perfect. All right, that's pretty good. Now's where things can get a little messy. We got to roll the balls. I'm gonna try to make them, oh geez, we're gonna try not to make a mess here. I don't want them to be too big, because if you have big balls, then uh, they kind of take longer to cook. That's a pretty good size. I like the, I like the look of that. I'm trying to make them as even as possible. And whenever I'm making meatballs, I like to I like to roll them pretty good, because. If you don't roll them really good, sometimes they can kind of fall apart. Okay, now I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, this is where things are going to get a little tricky. So we're going to put these on here and put some oil, roll them around, get them a little bit, just so they don't stick crazy amounts, because it is lean beef. 
So we're gonna need a little bit of that. We're rolling around. So what we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna keep them raw on the inside. But we want a good char on the outside because char is delicious. Not too char. We don't want too. We don't want to get them burned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna char these up, get them all browned, and then we're going to add in the other rest of the stuff to make the cream sauce and simmer it for like an hour to two hours. Something to where they're just, oof, it's gonna get good. starting to get a little char on there. They've got some char. They not they don't got as much char as I'd like, but I'm worried some of these are going to burn. Let's see. Yeah, they got there's some good char on them. There's some that are a little less charred, but I just do not want to burn them. That would be the worst. So I think we're just gonna, rather than risk burning them, we're gonna just take them off the heat right now. So yeah, I'm gonna give these another minute of charring up and we're gonna pull them off the heat, but we need to start preparing stuff to make our cream sauce. So let's start cutting stuff up. I'm gonna pull these off in a sec. Oh geez, we weren't recording. So we've got half of a white onion. Mushrooms are next. All right, add those into the pot. Okay, that's all we've got to prepare. So now we're gonna cut up, of course, the boys' sweet potato for the Monty's mangled mush. We're not gonna give them this whole sweet potato because they both had venison bones. And I don't want them to poo in the hot tent. Or get just messes all over. Which is probably already going to happen. Come on. It's probably already going to happen, but, you know. We can, we can, we can dream. So we're just going to chop this up. Add this to their pot. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to what we are cooking. Okay, what we're going to add now is I've got some crushed red peppers. Or, pff, what am I trying to say here? Roasted. I did not drain the whole jar because I don't need the whole jar. So I'm just going to slowly kind of try to get, get them in and not get too much juice in there. But, you know, for this one I was like, onions, mushrooms, I just... I wanted to do bell peppers, but I was like, you know what? Actually, ro roasted peppers would be pretty good. So we're just going to add, we'll add one more. Ooh, that'll probably cook apart a little bit. Mmm. Oh, this is going to be good. I can, I can already see it. Now we're going to add some crushed tomatoes. I got a can of it. We're not going to add all of it. We're going to, we're going to probably end up adding a lot of this but right now we're going to take it slow because we need these onions and mushrooms to cook down as it simmers so i'll probably be adding more and yes we are going to be taking leftovers home this is so much oh man okay now we're going to add some heavy whipping cream oh man 
we're gonna we're gonna need to add all this. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good. All right, we're gonna add some fresh rosemary. Mm-hmm. And then we've got some fresh thyme. I do love thyme. Oh yeah. Oh, geez, you scared the crap out of me, Roos. I don't know what he's doing out there. You never know what the Roos. He just ran to the tent though and made me jump. Of course, we are going to add, we're going to open it, we're going to add a little black pepper, and then, well, a little, little bit more black pepper, I like, I like black pepper, okay, and then some salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt, okay, let's double check and make sure that we've got everything we need in there. I think we're good, so let's get this cooking. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is way too much for me to eat tonight. But, see, Funk gets this um, special treat sometimes when I come home, and that's I bring my leftovers. And since it's well below freezing tonight, there shall be leftovers. So now we're gonna bring up the heat, get this a simmering and cook it for a good hour or so. And this is gonna start to cook down. And this, it'll, it'll, oh, it's gonna come together so nicely. Oh my gosh. Now the only mention I wanna make is that there is a little extra oil that I would have preferred to not be in there. Um, it would have just been a mess for me to get out and I, I could have used separate pans, but I kinda wanted the char in the pan to add some flavor. Oh my gosh, it's not even close to done, but I'm just like salivating already. It just smells delicious already. All right, let's just be careful and bring this up to a simmer. Okay. The simmering is beginning. Okay. It is time for a brusque. This one was sent to me by a subscriber. This is one I've been interested in trying. It is a Central Waters Brewing Company. Tequila Barrel Aged Key Lime. Ale with limes and sea salt aged in tequila barrels. We're going to give our official beer review that we always do. I like to think of myself as a beer connoisseur, so... I give some pretty good reviews. You probably you might have missed a few on the channel, but we'll get you up to speed. Oh, I can smell the hint of lime. I can kind of smell tequila. I don't like that as much. Oh, <laughs> if it, I hope it does not taste like tequila because I do not feel like drinking that right now. That sounds terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, okay. Hmm, yeah, okay. It tastes definitely like beer. Yeah, a little bit of a sour beer. Definitely beer though, 10 out of 10, that's a beer. I can taste the lime and the salt. It's like, it definitely tastes like, almost like a, a margarita or something. It, it's like a, I don't know. It, it's a sour, it's good. Holy balls, look at them balls. Oh 
my gosh. I got some good boy snack sticks here. Mmm. Some, uh, meat sticks that were sent to me by you guys, my viewers. You guys want another one? Good boys. I am getting so hungry. I just don't know. I, I, still, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Boys here. That's done. Aaron's can sit over there and cool off. Ah, this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a hot pan on the bottom. Ooh, that's gonna be pulled off. That is. Okay. We need to get that to cool down a little bit, but we need to get this on. This is for our noodles. We definitely cooked out a little bit of the liquid in there. As the liquid level slowly gets lower, it thickens up and gets so delicious. The flavors come out. This is going to be good. So we're going to just slow simmer this the rest of the way and just kind of keep it off to the side. Let it kind of slow way down and boil our noodles. I can't wait any longer for the water to boil. It's going to be good enough. What we're using for noodles today are some thick Amish egg noodles. We don't got the extra wide ones this time. We got a little thinner. And when I do the paprikash, I use the wide ones. So for this one, we're going to try the not so wide ones. I don't really know how much I'm going to need. Oh, yeah. That should be good. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Just look at those balls. Oh, oh my god, the sauce is so red. So it's orange. I wouldn't say it's red. It is just, oh, it is like a perfect consistency. They've been staring at me like this for like the past half hour. I mean, they, they their food is done. It's cooling. It was boiling hot. Ruger's groaning at me. I've, I've rarely, I mean, he'll groan if you're not playing with the stick enough, but I've never had him groan at me for food. 
This is a new thing. He's just been... Mm. If I don't pay attention to him, he'll do it. Let's see if we can get him to do it. That's what he's been doing. <laughs> I know, Rugs. I know. I know. I know. Don't worry, you're both gonna get it. You're both gonna get it. We're eating together. Yours is gonna be just cooled down. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna eat as a, a just a trio. They're cooking. That's for sure. Let's see where we're at. <coughs> Ooh. Mm, we're close. Mm. We're within five minutes. Mm. All right. We are going to finish up this bad boy, drain our noodles, combine everything into one big pile of deliciousness. Begin feasting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just add a pile of noodles. Oh. Okay, let's just bring some of the meatballs to the top. We can stir it in after. Okay, one final step. Just a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And with the fork of approval, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Pose's Creamy Balls. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's eat. Everyone's done so amazing today. Ruger, you did steal some firewood and that wasn't appreciated, but it's okay. I forgive you. Monty, you've done great. Ruger, you've been begging a little bit too much, but it is time. Go ahead. I just, we're gonna have to deal with the hat hair. It's getting hot in here. I don't even know if I'm in frame. I don't care. I just don't. Look at this pile of glory. And I know it looks like red sauce, and that's just, it's got the heavy whipping cream, so it's creamy. Part of me just has got to know what one of these meatballs tastes like before anything. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's the pan he wants. Mm. 
the meatballs. Mm. That's so good. Hey, 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 watch your face there, bud. Watch your face, Roos. You're gonna burn it. I don't want you to, I'm not a jerk. I don't want you to burn your cute little face. <coughs> okay? Because you obviously don't know any better. You keep sticking your face right against the hot stove. Little scavengers. Monty, Monty, your butt is on the wood stove. Jeez. Oh, I guess I get to eat some more. There's so much here. You, uh, a little closer, huh? Don't you think you're a little close to my face and my food? Oh, heaven to Betsy. This is just... Stop it. This is just, this is where it's at right here. Ruger, lay down, lay down. Good boy. <laughs> he doesn't like that he can't be <laughs> curled up next to me. What are you growing about now? You wanna go potty? Go ahead, go potty. Go potty. Go potty. No, he doesn't want that. What are you groaning at me for, huh? You've got everything you need. You've got comfiness. You've got warmth, shelter. You ate a big fat meal. I guess he didn't get to P-L-A-Y-S-T-I-C-K. He might need that, but it's not happening here. I don't want to move, I just want to lay here. Yeah. It's pretty crazy, car camping, you just, especially when you bring your own firewood, it's, uh, it's harder to wind down not doing any work at all for me. I gotta have a little work, whether I'm hiking in or, you know, cutting up wood and stuff. Definitely harder to wind down. When there's no real work involved, I, I'm just relaxing. But still, I'm getting a little tired. The most work I did was eat that food. <laughs> but anyways, what do you need? Go ahead. There's something that Ruger needs or wants. Or he thinks he needs and he wants. He's groaning at me. What? Let me just... <sighs> oh. Wow. There's birch bark right here. Oh, my fart 
stink. Do you want up up? Do you want to come up up? No. All right, get back, get back, get back. All right, all right. Listen, this works. Works. Look. You have everything you need. You're good. Okay. I've provided you with everything you need. So this dog. He, there's something in his brain that he thinks he needs. Because he does not groan at me. But he's been groaning at me all night. I don't know. Monty, you're being a good boy. You're doing what you always do. Ruger's the one acting strange. Go ahead, go outside and go potty. Do whatever you want to do, Rugs, as long as as it's not trying to grab pans in my firewood. <laughs> I definitely think he does not like that I'm not on the same level as him. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, good boy. <sighs> All right, well, it's time to wind down and pass out. Monty's already over there passing out. Alright boys. So we're gonna see how this goes. Ugh. But yeah. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night everybody. thing back in or it's gonna fall off if it dries out. Look at the, the tip of it is, oh my gosh, it's discolored, Monty. Get that thing back in your mouth. Your, t your tongue's gonna rot off. Jeez. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. No, no, no. Hey, don't get crazy. Don't. Ooh. I slept pretty good last night. So, uh, one thing that happened in the middle of the night, besides Monty's tongue drying out, looking like a little just piece of beef jerky or fruit leather, I don't know, it was weird. Um, I didn't have this situated right, and I fell over on Rugs. He was laying right next to me, and I like, I like went to roll over and I, this whole thing toppled over onto him and I, I went flying onto him. He was fine luckily, but I definitely fell over onto Rugs. That was a little surprise for Rugs, huh? Right Rugs? Was that a surprise for you? When I went and fell over on you? Yeah, remember when I fell on you? Uh. He does. He remembers. Anyways, um, 
we gotta get moving here, kinda, cause I got stuff to do. We gotta go take. We gotta. We gotta edit up this video, and then I gotta come back out here. So, yeah, let's get up. Let's do it. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, no barking. No barking. Hey, hey, don't, hey, don't, he's pulling my string. What's up with that? You okay, Monty? Hey, hey, get back here. None of that. No, 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 no. I just want to say hi. No, oh, look at him, he's getting crazy. That's a mid mid rogues getting crazy out. Come here, over here, come here, come here, boys, come here, come here. Anywho's, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Everyone calm down. <sighs> Probably not the best idea bringing them out here. <laughs> but it is what it is. I think we'll be fine. Anyways, uh, there's not much I have to do. I just got to put a couple things in the car and just drive out of here because I'm coming right back. I just got to go home, get supplies, edit this video up, get it on there, come right back out. So, um... We won't be making a video of the uh, rest of the deer camp. That's just, it's just our thing we like to do. So, uh, yeah, I think that's just going to wrap this one up. Because I'm just going to put some stuff in the car and go home. Come back. So, yeah, that's it. So, as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys at the next video. Right, boys? Calmly come here. Calm. Shh. Well, this is what I wanted. This is just 30 miles away. <laughs> it snowed really good here. Jeez. Well, shoot, I should have just camped in my backyard. Got like three inches back there. Oh, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty nice.